This is an 8-channel logic analyzer. I bought it for the incredible price of only $6. It works for signals up to 24 MHz. Almost any microcontroller has at least one digital communication port. So if you want to analyze that digital output, you will definitely need a logic analyzer. To learn how this module works, I've prepared three simple examples for SPI, WART and I2C serial communications. So let's see how this chip analyzer works. What's up my friends, welcome back! If you work with electronics, you would probably have an oscilloscope. A basic 2-channel oscilloscope could analyze almost any kind of analog signals. But if you work with digital signals and you want to see the real data that a specific pin is sending, you won't be able to do it with a normal oscilloscope or at least not directly. You should manually count each bit, transform the value from a binary code to a decimal or hexadecimal code and synchronize each data pack with a specific clock in case of a synchronized communication. This could work for a short signal or a signal that repeats a lot. But if you want to fast acquire a long digital transmission, you should definitely use a logic analyzer. There are oscilloscopes with a built-in logic digital scope, but usually those are very expensive. So if you are a beginner, I definitely recommend you to buy this ultra cheap logic analyzer. There are a lot of logic analyzer, but I think this is the cheapest one. It has 8 channels, which means that you could connect 8 different signals at the same time. For example, an SPA communication uses at least 4 signals. One is clock, then we have the master output slave input, and finally the master input slave output and the chip enable pin. To show you how this works, I will use this NRF24 radio module that uses the SPA communication with the Arduino. These are the pins of the radio module. I'll connect the NRF module to the Arduino and at the same time to the logic analyzer using a breadboard. I'll connect the MOSI pin to channel 0 of the logic analyzer, MISO to channel 1, CLOCK to channel 2 and CHIP ENABLE to channel 3. Now what you have to do is to download the next software. It's called Logic from Saleae. Yeah, weird name, but it's a product from China, so it's okay. But anyway, you can find the download link in the description down below. Install it and open the Logic software. This is the main panel. To start the new simulation, we first have to add a new analyzer. For that, we click this plus icon and select SPA Analyzer. Here we select the use channel for each signal. Remember, we've connected the MOSI pin to channel 0, MISO to 1, CLOCK to 2 and ENABLE to channel 3. We click save. Now we click here and edit the simulation settings. I will choose a simulation duration of 5 seconds and the maximum sample rate. I start the Arduino communication with the radio module and click start simulation. After I acquire all the data, I can see the final result. I can zoom and see each data pack with more detail. If we click this analyzer settings icon, we can select the data format. Right now I can see the data value in hexadecimal format. I select binary. You can see here that now we have only zeros and ones. You could select from a huge variety of communications, both synchronous and asynchronous communications. So now let's make another example where I'm in control of the send data. For a serial WART communication, you should select Async Analyzer since WART is not a synchronous communication. Select the baud rate and click save. To show you an example, I use this AC-06 Bluetooth module which uses WART communication. I'll connect ground and supply 5 volts from the Arduino. I'll connect the TX pin from the Bluetooth module to channel 0 of the logic analyzer. I will use my app to send text to the Bluetooth module. You could download this app from a link below. I connect my smartphone to the Bluetooth module and type the text, Hi there YouTube. Before I click send, I start the logic simulation. I click send and stop the simulation. As you can see, this is what I received. I changed the hexadecimal format to ASCII and here we go. The text has been received with no problems. 
SG is the abbreviation of American Standard Code for Information Interchange and is a character encoded system. You could also see the word bits, but be careful. The last bit is the most significant bit, so if I turn on the binary format, you can see that the H, which is 01101000 in binary format is represented backwards. Ok, so now let's test an I2C communication. As you know, Arduino Uno has an I2C port on pin A4 and A5. I2C only uses two pins to communicate. Those pins are clock and data. To simulate an I2C communication, I'll connect this MPU6050 module to the I2C pins, because this module uses an I2C communication. I'll connect the data pin, which is analog pin A4, to channel 0 of the logic analyzer, and the clock, which is A5, to channel 1. I open a new I2C analyzer. Now I open the next sketch in the Arduino IDE. This code will send the data through the I2C port. I should see the same data with my logic analyzer. As you can see here, I first send the I2C address, and then I send the hello YouTube string. I start the simulation. As expected, here's the received data. You can now see that in this case I have a synchronous clock for each received byte. Because I2C is a synchronous communication. Once you simulated your signal, you could save the simulation and open it whenever you want. You could always play around with this software. It's not the best, but for $6 I think it's great. Well, I hope that you liked this video and that you have learned something about serial communication, both synchronous and asynchronous. We have seen a little bit how SPI, WART and I2C data transfer works and how to analyze the signals. If you don't want to spend too much money and you need a logic analyzer, this is perfect for almost any kind of communications. You've seen the long list of compatible communication analyzers. If you want to support my channel, give a like to this video and share it with your friends. If you have any question, just leave it in the comment section below or my Q&A page. Also, subscribe to my channel for more future videos. If you consider helping my projects, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.